Alarming numbers. The state of Florida has broken annual manatee death records in just six months, and more of the marine mammals are expected to die. News for Jacks reporter Big Michelucci spoke with a veterinarian at the Jacksonville Zoo. They are gentle giants, and they're so important for our ecosystem. So this is extremely concerning, to say the least. By June, 761 manatees had died. That record has now been broken. As of July 2nd, across Florida, 841 manatee deaths have been reported. State wildlife officials say this is due mostly because of an outbreak of toxic red tide. Some biologists believe that water pollution is killing the seagrass beds in the area, and that's also causing problems. On Wednesday, officials with the Jacksonville Zoo released a manatee in St. Augustine after it spent two months in rehabilitation. They're still studying the issues, but officials believe that the lack of food is the main problem statewide. Veterinarian with the Jacksonville Zoo, Dr. Yusuf Jafari, explains why. They come in with uh, electrolyte and metabolic derangements. If you see a sick or injured manatee, um, report it to FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. They have a hotline. Uh, they respond to any uh, manatee reports, uh, and they actually bring the animal to us um, in this region uh, whenever there's an injured manatee. And another alarming factor, boats are hitting and killing manatees all across the Sunshine State. Boat collisions have caused at least 63 manatees to date across Florida. That's in 2021. Let's look back at 2020, 37 fatalities. And in 2019, there were 86 reported manatee deaths from boat collisions. Right now, manatees are considered threatened. They used to be on the endangered species list, though. It's unclear if all of these deaths could potentially change that. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4 the local station.